Hey, welcome back, musical architects. You spend a lot of time tweaking your sounds and instruments in a production. So why not take in 10 minutes at the end of a project to save some of these sounds for future projects? If you know how to save presets, channel strip settings, patches, and templates, these 10 minutes will save you hours for future projects. Let me show you how. All right. You spend a lot of time creating a production. It would be sad if you just have to start all over again with every new song. So why not keeping some of the good elements for future reference? How do we do that? I want to show you a couple of easy ways of archiving some of your best settings for future projects. Especially if you work for hire. It's a great place to start sometimes to just pull up a certain patch or a sound or a setting that worked before and then tweak it for the new song. I like to create new sounds for every song, but sometimes it's just nice as a starting place to go to a go-to bass sound or a synth sound or something like that. So how do we do that? First, we need to understand a couple of things about effects. Let's say we have a bass here, and I like the setting. Let's say we just like the particular bass amp setting here. And we just want to archive that for future. Every plugin has a list of presets, and you can go to Factory and pull up Logix settings. But you can also save your own setting here and make it even a default setting as a go-to bass sound. Let's say I'm going to go save as and call this coming home bass one, and put this into my bass amp under my basses here, and I'm going to save this. I already did, so I'm going to replace it, and in the future. Instead of pulling up a factory sound, I can just simply go to my own basses here. Another way of finding this would be opening up the library and looking for that sound there. So how do we do that? By clicking next to each plugin on that little triangular focus button, the library will only show me plugin settings for this particular plugin. If I would click next to compressor, it would show me compressor settings. Normally, it's higher in the hierarchy and shows you all kinds of settings because it's a channel strip. But in this case, I can just say, show me amp settings. And then it shows me amp settings for this. Very cool. And you can save your own settings like that. Let's say we want to save, though, this combination of sounds. Since this is all part of one channel strip, how do we save them all together? All I have to do is go to the channel strip and save channel strip setting as. So let's save this part and say coming on bass. And this is going to go to track. And I'm going to go to bass and call this coming on bass two. I already saved this before, so let's replace this. And the next time I have a project and I remember that bass, I always put my name of the song in the bass or in the preset name so I can remember which song it's coming from. I'm on an audio track. All I have to do is go to channel strip setting bass and find that setting and it loads all the plugins for that particular channel strip. Let's go a step further. Let's say we have a couple of instruments that belong together and I would like to have in the future not only a track but a whole bus of tracks ready to go for something. For example, I create these effect low guitar sounds that are kind of particular And I might use them again in some aspect. Since they kind of special effects, I don't want to start from scratch. So these are all audio tracks right now. And they're part of a track stack called Electric Guitar Bus. Since that holds all these tracks, I'm going to go to that bus, go to my library under the Save button here, and it saves not a channel strip, but a patch. This is under Audio because it's mostly or all audio instruments. I'm going to go to Electric Guitar and save this as EG bus coming home. And if I ever need a bus with a couple of tracks ready to do that kind of guitar, I'm going to create an audio track in any new project and go to user patches, go to electric guitar and go to electric guitar coming home. When I load it, it not only loads the bus effects, but you see all the other tracks in here have the same effects. So that saves a lot of time. I used to save templates for songs, I will show you in the end, but this almost 
is more important to me now because I think I need eight backing vocal tracks. All I have to do is go to my patches and go to backing vocals and load a backing bus. And I have a bus ready to go with backing vocals with the right effects and whatever I want on them. So you can save quite a lot of tracks with one little button here at the same time. It's cool and you don't have to make a template with all these tracks ready. You can just pull up buses as you need them. Finally, what do you do when you have mixed instruments, software instruments and audio instruments? I have a bass bus here that has both. It has audio for real bass and it has MIDI. So I like the combination of this particular bass bus. I'm going to make a copy. So option drag the whole track. I'm going to work off the copy so that I mess up the other one. I'm going to get rid of tracks I don't need. I want to keep just the MIDI, not the audio rendering of that. I might just keep one open track for recording. And then there's a live bass and then a sub bass and a atmosphere bass. I don't need these parts. This bass bus has now four tracks in it and they are mixed MIDI and audio. Okay, so let's save the same way patch. But in this case, it goes to an aux track because it's MIDI or a software instrument and audio mixed together. And I'm going to choose audio or instrument track in that case. I'm going to go instrument in this case, doesn't matter. I just have to remember where I saved it. And under bus, I'm going to go, let's call this mixed. So how do I load it back? If I saved it under audio, I have to create an audio track. If I saved it under software instrument, I will have to create an, a software instrument. So I make a software instrument since I saved it under software instrument. I'm going to go to user patches, bass. I'm going to go bass bus coming home mixed. And it loads the bus with audio tracks and software instrument tracks as well. Cool. So finally, if you want to save this whole session as a template, so you can start over again, let's say you do an EDM track and you have your drums and your vocal tracks and your synth all ready to go. So what I would do is here, in this case, delete everything, get rid of all the buses you don't need. Let's say we want, just want to keep the kick, the clap and the bass bus, and then get rid of all the other stuff. And so we want to save a template with these buses. Maybe you do orchestral stuff and you have a bunch of really good plugins. Before I do this, I'm also going to go to my project, click File Browser F and delete everything in here. So it's a brand new empty session, but it comes with these buses. So I can clean this up however I want to. Probably make it, you know, neat and clean. And then I could save this as a template. I saved this as a template, very simple project. Let's call this coming home template. All right. So next time you open a project and you want these sounds ready to go, you can go new from template, go to your project, go to templates, coming home template. And there we go. We have a session with those tracks, tags, and sounds ready to go. That's it. Save your sounds that you want to use again, and it's going to save you a lot of time and make life a little easier. Finally, here's a little bonus tip. Sometimes we remember a great sound in a song, but we didn't save it as a preset. Here's a way you can pull it in from any song that you have on your hard drive. I'm going to go to my file browser F and go to the project and find the project that I'm looking for. So if you go to your hard drive, you'd say, I know which song it is, and I'm going to find that particular sound. I find the version of the song, say the last version here, and I want to pull in one particular sound. What could that be? I don't know. Let's say I want to get the plugins from the lead vocals. Plugins, and I'm going to pull this in. And here now, I have this track with all the plugins from that. That goes with instruments as well. So that's another way of pulling in effects very easily. I hope this helps you to save your sounds and settings and then save a lot of time in your production work. Stay creative and I see you next time. Thanks for watching.
Hey, thanks so much for watching. I hope this made sense and gives you the tools and skills to edit things very quickly in the future without spending much time and messing up your song. If you want to dig deeper, feel free to check out my course where I start from the very beginning of writing a song to the end of production and take you step by step through the process. Thanks so much and have a great day. No matter what, stay unapologetically creative.